figure we just come outside for a minute and see if we can see the moon yet or see if it's out at least. Welcome back to my channel, my crystal kings and queens. So today's video um, is a new moon crystal cleansing video. Um, I believe the last crystal cleansing video I did, I was actually at work and I think it was a full moon for that one. I'm not really sure, but um, because tonight's new moon is actually transitioned into the Taurus zodiac sign and I have an upcoming birthday, I thought it would be feasible to go ahead and make this video also because i just haven't cleansed my crystals in a minute so i thought it would be nice to share it with you all and you know hopefully you all can cleanse your crystals at the same time if you haven't done so already for um or in preparation for tonight so anyways um i have not really been home necessarily to actually just kind of sit down and legitly um change out my crystals i of course as some of you all know you know for those of you who've been rocking with me for a while y'all know there's this, a select few um type of crystals that i just keep on my person constantly no matter what um but for the most part i think i probably just added crystals to my crystal bag instead of just uh, rather changing them out some i do apologize for the closeness of this video and only seeing my hands i'll move the camera out some in just a second so i know um you all are probably like oh my god i hope they're not the same crystals uh yeah usually they are for the ones that i am just um constantly keeping with me because you know you can't have the same crystals on you for so long without you know cleaning them but um again i did add some crystals to my bag so i plan on cleansing a few of my not necessarily newer ones but newer crystals in addition to my crystal that i've already carried so i don't want to keep talking in circles i know you're all probably like already bored this may be like low-key asmr-ish but hopefully you enjoy it this is my crystal baggie as you all know nothing new for those of you who are new it's probably new to you or of course it would be new to you but anyway um i don't know i don't know what crystals i want to cleanse but i keep so many of them with me um yeah i think for sure i'll probably clean my clear quartz calcite i forget what this one's called oh my god um i jeez i forget but I picked this up when I needed it the absolute most. And the um, believed characteristics of this crystal is so powerful, really cool. I love it. It's a really awesome stone actually. Really great for, you know, not fidgeting, but you know, uh, more like a worry type of stone for me. Another rose quartz and then my tiger's eye palm stone that reminds me of my grandpa i love this tiger stone so much yeah i'll probably cleanse those for sure 
kind of move those to the side. Um, I'm always into my clear quartz. This one, I've, of course, you, this is no stranger to any of you. I've kept this one with me for as long as I can just remember. It is my absolute favorite clear quartz of my entire collection, which is not really strange, but you may or may not see why for those of you who are new and for those of you who aren't, you already know why. So this, because I've been carrying it with me a whole lot, I'm definitely going to cleanse that one. Uh, this is my double terminated Sichuan um, in Hydro. I'll clean that. There's going to be some I'll just kind of cleanse off camera because again, I just, you know, it doesn't make sense to keep showing the same ones, but you know, I also just have nothing new at the moment. Though I have done a bit of crystal shopping and I need to do a crystal haul, but uh, these are my carnelians. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up cleansing. Well, I'm gonna end up cleansing all of my crystals, but for the most part, I'll probably, I love this. It's just like one of my favorite um, carnelian hearts. I'll probably end up just cleansing this one with you all. So I'll put that in the pile. I don't know, kind of, maybe I'll just, I mean, I ain't gonna kill it. I'll just cleanse all of those there. I wanna make the video as short as possible, but y'all know how that goes. I really don't know what's in here. Oh, my smoky quartz. Some of my favorite smoky quartz actually is my palm stones and my lapis lazuli, one of my favorites. These, I actually haven't really used them, though I have been carrying them with me. I can cleanse them later. I think, well, no, I used this one, so I'll cleanse that now, and then my others I'll cleanse off camera. Um, I have a feeling I know what this one is. Another in hydro, I think. Not in hydro, um, Alessio. Yes, one of my favorites. Absolutely love this one. Um, this I found a random um, record keeper. Let me see if I can get you to see it. It is right there. Right there. I think um, this would be considered a trigonic record keeper. I could have that wrong. Y'all forgive me, my nails are like, oh my God, it's dirty now under my nails, digging in these bags. But I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse this one for sure. Yeah, more so just kind of running it under water. And you know, I use my Dove soap. My Tibetan Quartz, I'm probably not gonna cleanse this one. I haven't used this as much. Really no need to cleanse it, but I don't know. And then I'll probably go outside and like, just kind of sit my crystals out on my car or like on the porch or something. On the porch, I haven't said porch in so long. Like who uses that word? This is one of my favorite um, spheres. It's a, um, it's like a, not a calcite. I don't know why I can't think of any of what my crystals are tonight. Like I'm extra trippy, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cleanse this. One of my faves, what is this? Uh, my citrine infused clear quartz. I usually cleanse this one, but tonight I am not going to, well, I am going to, but it won't be on camera. What else do I have? Cause I also, again, have no clue. Another clear quartz fave. Um, I really do adore this one. It reminds me of a feather, like the inside of it. I'm not even really paying attention to how clear you all can see this, so 
by the time I show this, I'm probably going to be like, dang, I wish I had done better. But right now, I'm just kind of working with what I got. I think I'll cleanse that one. I don't know. Let me see, because I already got a lot. Yeah. We'll see. Again, another clear quartz. Y'all already know my favorite. Like, the three I carry with me now are like the three crystal favorites at the moment. And then, for sure, my usual. I'm not going to cleanse this one on camera. I did for my last video, so that'll be the first. I'll cleanse this one off camera raw. And that is all that's in the baggie. So let's go ahead and I think I want to, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll keep that one. This one, this one. I feel like I don't really have to cleanse a small carnelian, but um, I'm gonna just put it in one of these bags because I can't even remember which bag I got it out of. Probably a black one. My big heart. Yeah, I was really made no changes at all. All right, so these will be the crystals that I cleanse. I had to bring the camera forward, but these are the crystals that I'm going to cleanse for the night and place them outside. They look a little funny. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at my camera this way. But, so what? These are what I'm going to be cleaning. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. I'm like, I'm talking extra low. My voice is all extra chippy. Y'all let me know what crystals y'all are carrying. I really need to just go ahead and just update my videos legitly. Because I'm like, there's so much that I have to show y'all that I haven't been able to. Because I've been working and, you know, in school and stuff like that. So it's just like, it's been super crazy. And my schedule has changed a ton. So this is what we're going to cleanse and... Okay, so I went ahead and just added all of my crystals um, into the sink. I am clearly going to cleanse all of them, but only a select few for the video. Um, I went to my car and got my um, selenite, which we obviously cannot run underwater. But I mean, for visual purposes, this is the selenite stick or wand that I keep in my car. I love it so much, but I try not to touch it too much because um, my hands sweat profusely and I'm afraid that it all dissolve in my hands and I don't want that. So just for support, I'm gonna keep it with us in here or in the bathroom. Go ahead. Jeez an animal parent such hard work my little doggy was in here and he was ready to go so oh, i also went ahead and brought my amethyst out from the car i love this amethyst so much it can get extremely heavy but i keep it with me um sometimes i'll take it into work with me or not it just kind of depends but for the most part it just sits in my car um near my uh what do you call it jesus i just i can't get it right tonight so either way it sits in um like this little space and this little um it's not a cup holder but it's like right up underneath my radio anyway that's where i keep it doesn't really matter i love this um amethyst so much though because if you stay here in florida i don't really know if you can tell but it just kind of has that shape of Florida, like that Florida shape on the map. So I call this my Florida girl. So pretty. Back is super pretty. 
but you know, I love it for that reason alone. Like it just reminds me of Florida. Super dope. And she's just super pretty anyway. But yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I cleanse her and place her up under the moon along with all of my other beauties. So let's go ahead and just get started with the cleansing process. Throw some water over these bad babies. Um, I really don't want to keep the water running. So I'll just let that down. What do you think? My black speck is kind of floating in the water. So I'm going to catch it. selenite is totally out of the way because that is the one crystal I just don't want getting wet. So it's like low-key ASMR. I love it. Alright, so I think the first crystal I'm going to start off with is my sphere um, and it's actually a, a form of chalcedony, that's what I was trying to say. So let's go ahead and I got my dove soap here. This water will be <laughs> clear in a minute. Usually when I clean my crystals, I don't clean them with my rings on, and I have my rings on, so I'm going to take these off. Just so sweat that and put it to the side. It'll be a little soapy for now, but it's all good. Okay, so let's take this one off as well. So what? We don't care. <laughs> um, so pretty much just take my crystal after I've gotten soap on it. I'm just run it through my hands. Make sure I got the soap on it some. Can't really see what I'm doing. I'm like I'm having to lean to look at the camera. Which is probably why I will not be making this video too long so I like to make sure I get the soap all in these areas for my crystals like this um, with not really huge spaces to work with I've already gotten some soap in here just go ahead and cleanse or clean Have to brush 
this, but I just, I do so because it just makes me feel good. for last because it's the bigger of the few that I'm actually going to clean. to do my lapis on camera but something told me to so I'm going to don't really need my brush for it so I just kind of run my hands over this one since I'm cleaning all of my crystals, but the crystals that I'm cleansing now on camera are actually more of a power group than 
I intended. I didn't even think about it. But it's pretty dope. Lapis lazuli, smoky celestial, um, chalcedony sphere with um, tech type. Carnelian, amethyst, and clear quartz. Powerful. So here is. Why does it look funny? Okay, so here is the carnelian. She makes my video look extremely old school, but that's cool. All right, now I have to. I mean, I could add a rose quartz to that, but I think I will. I'll add my small rose quartz. I'll add this one, this little beauty here. That's four, five, six, seven. That'll be seven crystals. See, that's so crazy because a lot of the times when I'm not thinking about it, I'll do things in numbers of threes, fives, or seven. And those three are my favorite, absolute favorite numbers. Favorite, favorite numbers. I think I had read something um, in my numerology chart um, in regards to those three numbers, why they're so important to me why they're so um i guess why they match well with my personality with who i am or with my uh zodiac in particular i've also been looking up like my moon rising and ascending yikes oh my goodness she slipped out fairly quickly okay i guess she said that's enough um, i don't need that i don't need that much don't need that much. That's cool. But um, yeah, my moon rising and ascending uh, sign is actually Pisces, which is so, so funny. Extremely funny. All right. Now, so for my clear quartz. if you all can hear in the background drums are being played all right so let's make sure he is good to go get my brush for this I really want to buff down the edges of this crystal. I believe I did before, but it might, I want to buff it down some more that it's actually even, but I also don't want to disturb the natural setup of the crystal. So I'll probably just leave it be, like not even touch it. to this as a she or a feminine energy 
Um, when I realized that it has not only feminine but masculine energy as well, like just a few minutes ago, I referred to it as a he. Like it's so odd, but just like it's a different type of crystal. It's probably why I can never really put it down. But I just love it. Absolutely love it. Maybe tonight's moon will help me just to really grasp the names. Like for me to actually know the crystals, um, you know, I'm working with or I've been working with. Just, you know. Like, I like to name all my things. Like, it helps me to get familiarized. It personalizes things for me. Like, I don't know. Like, to give ownership to a crystal. Like, people don't consider them as living things. But I do because of the energy. I mean, of course, I don't make them like my idol or anything per se. It's just, I like to treat them as though they are extremely important because they are. Treat them as though I would treat myself with care, without question, with love, you know, kindness. And in the end, they are important. I definitely would love to buff this crystal too, but we all know how that goes. Oh, we don't know. I've never buffed a crystal on camera. I'll probably show it just to show you all what I do. Get my glasses on, protect the glasses on, my little tool, and get to going. Okay, after this, that actually be it. You know, I've done a lot of talking. You're probably all like, oh my god. She leaves, comes back, and we're just, we're just cleaning crystals. Nothing fun or extravagant. I actually need to do an update video. Q&A, maybe. Those of you who have my Instagram, you know, you can go on and send me questions if you like. I've never done a Q&A, but I think I will. I think it'll be fun for the next video. Alright, let's get this water on this and time to release you all so you're no longer bored <laughs> but I wanted to make sure I at least did this crystal before I did this crystal did this video before the night was out so it might be late it might be a late upload but it will be an upload nevertheless So I guess whomever had this one at first um, either left it in the sun too long or maybe where she was born, she was in the sun. So she has the grayish appeal, which I actually love so very much. It's just so pretty to me. It's like lavender and purple at the same time. But she just shines so beautifully and shimmery. Glistening, my Florida stone for you Florida folks out there. Okay, so 
those are my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven crystals that I did not intend to specifically um, or intentionally make out as a number seven, but there they are. Let me give you all a much closer look. So here are the seven beauties. I'm gonna go ahead and sit all of my crystals out into the moonlight if I can actually find it. But um, these for sure are what's going to go out. So all in all, let's get some light over here. Probably not the best light, yep, yeah, really not. But all in all, these are the crystals. And I wouldn't show you all me, but your girl here kind of been on a different type of time. I'm doing something different, transitioning. So I don't really want anyone to see just yet. Um, I want it to be a surprise, kind of. So stay tuned, stick around. Thank you so much for joining me crystal kisses and royal blessings i hope you all have a very favorable new moon tonight love you